We're going to do some testing here. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to show you a little bit how to dim it. You can, these are dimmable. Yeah, dimmable mean well drivers, which are drivers. Anyway, let's get started here. And uh, first of all, I want to say there's no fans. That's what I like. No noisy fans. Um, this has been running now for... I don't know, I've had it on for maybe two hours, and as you can see, I can touch it. It's barely warm to me. Um, it says hot, do not touch. They probably get more hot as they run, I don't know. But right now, I mean, I could look at some heat. I got a heat gun here, and I can take a reading here. 82. 83. Made the camera see. See if you can get a reading over there. 83 below it. Okay, 83 below it. So, yeah, they put off a little, you can feel a little heat, but I tell you what I like is the spectrum of light. I mean, this is like one of them blurple or whatever they call them lights. This thing is like daylight. I mean, they should call it the daylight model. I don't know, but it sounds good. I like spider form. See how much this puppy is taken from the wall. Here we go. I got the meter hooked up. 94.5. So you're looking at around 94 and a half watts. That's hardly anything. Okay. So we can adjust that. I'll probably adjust that up to 100 because they at least show it as 100. So I'll probably get some more par value. Uh, let me go ahead and let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and drop this thing down a little bit. And it won't take me but a second here. I want to show you how to dim the, um, the driver. Okay. It's going to have a little bit of a sway, but take you a small Phillips. Well, oh, you got four screws. These are slotted too, by the way, so you don't have to take all four out. You really only have to take two out, and that's the first two or whatever you want. So you just take it out. I mean, let's see, just go ahead and take it out. Now, all I should have to do to the back is just loosen this which makes a lot of sense and it should just slide right on out which it does and you flip it over there we go now here's your dimmable driver you take the rubber cap out it's a grommet and down inside you take a small Phillips and you, let's see if I can get it in there. Let's see, I'm going back here and I'm trying to do a dimmable Meanwell driver. I'm going to adjust it. This is the Spider Farmer SF1000. Um, I got it flipped over right now. Uh, four screws holds it in. You have to loose, take two out. Two stays in, just loosen them. It flips over, takes me a minute to do. Um, this was pulling 94 and a half watts from the wall. So what I'm going to do is with my meter, I'm going to adjust this. And we're going to just see how far down we can dim this. Okay. I'm down to 99. 88. I'm going slow. I'm going to see how far down she'll dim. Oh, I can see the difference going down right there. She's all the way down to 63 watts. My gosh, you could use this for like, uh, this would be nice for seedlings or, you know, barely out of the ground. Look at her, 52 watts, 50 watts, 49, 44, 43. This thing really turns down. It's 40. That's it, that's the bottom out, 40 watts. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it the other direction. 
and I'm going to turn her on up here and I'm going to tune it in to around 100 because that's what they show. It was at 94, I think. Wait, I'm a little too much. There we go. Too much. It's really touchy when you do this. Okay. I'm going to just leave it at that. 101 and a half watts. That's, 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 that's really close. So we'll leave it at that. Now, I'm going to lift this. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in that we got it adjusted. It's just a little rubber grommet. And this light's swinging. <laughs> but anyway, like I say, you keep them two in. And then all you got to do is just slide that in. Set that down. Now find your screws. There they are. So far, so good. I mean, this, this takes just, you know, just a few minutes. I'm going to do some PAR testing for the Spider Formula 1000 here with my Apogee Quantum Flux Meter. They're a little expensive, but they're nice. This will measure PAR, so let's turn it on and let's get a quick measurement here. I'm at 24 inches, by the way. Uh, I'm around center there. I have no reflecting of nothing here. This is not an attempt. This is just on a counter. So I'm looking at about 229 par uh, on that. Uh, well, if I go up, it's going to go up. But and then it stays pretty steady. I mean, this thing's like uh, the dimensions on this is 11.8 inches times 10.5 inches. Nice little light that draws like 100 watts. I mean, it's really nice. Good light spectrum and everything underneath with the reds and the yellows and the blues and all that. Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, your warm white would be a 3000K, your blue light 5000K, red light 66NM, and your IR light 760NM. And the badge footprint for this is a three by three and flower is around two by two. So for the, you know, just the guy that wants to have like say one, maybe two plants. I've actually grown two plants on this for a while before I had to change it. But uh, yeah, one plant for somebody just to have fun with. Two probably in a nice tent. I don't know, maybe more than that. I would say two. And then you're looking at what, 50 watts per plant? I mean, God, that is like extremely low. But anyway, the PAR's good. Uh, and this is at 24 inches. Now, if we dropped her all the way down to, say, 18 inches, them numbers will increase. So let me, I'm going to take a quick let this light down a little bit here. Maybe I can get this thing at around 18 inches real quick. Okay, what's this? This is uh, 18 and a half. That's good enough. Let's see what we look at at 18 and a half. Let me turn this thing back on. Put her under there and let's see. Oh, here we go. Now, with no reflecting now, this is somewhere around 363 par in the middle and three to the end and three to this end three 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 okay um i don't know if you want to see some numbers but i'll turn this around and i'll get some numbers and let's see I think I'm around center, three, six, three, three, six, four. Yeah, somewhere around there. That's that's good light. And, uh, you know, like I say, this is no reflective of nothing. This is just dead light. That's what we're measuring, just the light itself. Nothing of it's reflecting, nothing. Just dead light. Okay. Let's take some heat samples here. Um... This thing gets a little warm to the touch. This has been running for approximately three hours, I would say. Uh, she's just warm, as you can see. I'm not, I'm not, uh, um, I got my hands on the top. I, I don't advise touching underneath to any of them 
LED lights. I'm touching the driver, the meanwhile driver. It's just warm, and I can take a reading here. Let's see what I say. It says 111 on the driver, and I don't know. This says around 86, so, you know, yeah, it gets a little warm, and it probably would get a little bit warmer. This thing still is running only around 100 degrees. I mean, that's really not much. And that's on my heat gun. Um, but anyway, this, for, I would say to anybody, for the professional grower, I think it's going to make a lot of people happy. I know it does me. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video here coming up. I don't know when, but it's, uh, I've completely changed out my whole grow room to Spider Farmer Series grow lights. I have a 4,000. I have a 2,000. I got more than one 2,000. I have a total, I think, of nine Spider Farmers. I've completely changed out every light that I have, and I went to these lights. And I would have never done that, but I've done the research. I've did the specs. I've done everything, and these are the real deal, people. I hope you like this video, and uh, like I say, I'll uh, hope this helps you out. Uh, I'm just trying to give an honest review, but like I say, you put this thing in a nice grow tent, hey, this thing's good with some reflection, you'll see a big difference. But anyway, um, very nice light, quiet, no noisy fans or nothing. Amazing. Okay, folks, I'll get back to you later. Right. Have a good one. Shane Arbutt out.